it is a big day here at KPRC Channel 2. We are in party mode. Well, we're always in party mode here at Houston Life, aren't we? Absolutely. It's a little quiet here in Studio B, but uh, if you watch Channel 2, which you probably do because you're watching us right now, <laughs> you may have noticed that uh, 2019 is a big year. That's because the station is celebrating its 70th year on the air. It was way back January 1st, 1949, when that first broadcast signal went out. Our call letters were a little different back then. We were KLEE -E for a couple years, but soon KPRC was born and here we are today. And there is a big party going on in our lobby. You know what? We're invited and I know that we're on the show, but want to go across the party? We totally should. We're going to take you uh, down the hallway here at Houston Life so you can see a little behind the scenes, but just bear with us as we walk out of Studio B and down the hall. We're going to do a little switcheroo on our earpieces so we can hear. And as we walk down the hall and we are about to introduce you to some more members of our KPRC family. We should point out some of our guests who are getting ready for today's show. So this is the hallway that we walk down. We have Natalie Weekly coming Hi, up ladies. with our models. We're going to be talking about the Pantone color of the year and how to mix in living coral into our wardrobe. Also, Julio hey. from Coffee Q. You may have seen his food truck rolling around town. He is here today to show us how to keep up with some of our healthy eating resolutions by creating some pretty easy recipes we can try at home. And our makeup room. Y'all, this is where our makeup bar sets Rochelle, and we have Joe Cowley here with the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Big day coming up tomorrow because tickets go on sale. We're going to talk things all tickets uh, and everything rodeo coming up. Thanks for being here, Joel. We appreciate Just it. Just announced their concert oh, last week. Oh, amazing. Okay. This is our green room, some more of our guests getting ready for today's show. And you know, Courtney, I can hear the sound oh, of the party. It's awesome. This is our wall of fame. So this is actually getting into the lobby of KPRC. And all of these things are first at KPRC. Even like, of course, the, the moonwalk, the landing, even our logos down here and how they've changed 1960, 1968. You know, the moonwalk was such a big deal. Of Unbelievable. Course, that was the Apollo 11 mission that included the first men walking on the moon. And KPRC was the TV station that beamed that signal all around the world. Absolutely. And this guy right here, John. John Treadgold, this is him in 1984, BTW. He still works as a photographer here today. He's out in the lobby. I worked with him on many, many stories. And you know what's funny is we're gonna hit the dessert table first, Eric. All right. <laughs> yeah. Dessert always tastes better when you're hungry. Check out these cakes. These were uh, dropped off to us this morning from La Cakery Boutique. They were so kind to help us celebrate. Can't wait to dig into that. This one's totally mine. I'm just gonna take it. It's red velvet just going to take it. And you know what's great about celebrating this anniversary is that, of course, when we're out in the community doing a story, or even if we're out at the grocery store, so many of you all have come up to us to say, hey, I used to watch Bonanza growing up, yes. or I Dream of Jeannie. All of these iconic shows through the generations makes you feel like you're right at home here on Channel 2. Absolutely. We're going to come a little bit further because here is um, the step and repeat where all of our guests are able to come in and take a photo. There's also a little photo booth here where you can walk down memory lane and see all of these things. Bill Bremer, uh, a great uh, historian for the station, actually categorized and went through all of these photos, these newspaper clippings. This stuff is so unbelievable. It's Houston Post. And check out the staff from back in the day. Yep. You'll notice this that with before. a lot of TV stations, most of the staff members were male. KPRC, we were so full of so many first high the first female reporters, the first African-American reporters, and the first female sports anchors as well. Absolutely. So many great things that were tied with the KPRC family. And let's take a look in the crowd, Derek. We've got a red carpet arrival, of oh, course. There's Randy, Randy McElroy. McElroy we're live director. on Houston oh, Live, Randy. Hey, Dominique. Dominique. Live on Jerry. Houston Live, Jerry, our GM. Yeah. 
as Justin Stapleton in line for food. Oh Jennifer Reyna, food. They got to get the food. Last from the past. This is such a cool moment, you guys. And I know you are recognizing all of I these am. people that you haven't seen forever. It is so special. And the fact that we actually have a place to house everybody now is beyond fabulous. It's so cool. Yeah. It's just so unique. And by the way, as long as we're doing like red carpet arrival, what are you wearing today, oh. Dominique? I don't know. It's a Rent the Runway special. Oh, yes. I just started that. Way to go, girl. The best. You better eat some How cake. things have changed, by the way, because, you know, back in the very early days of KPRC, what's unbelievable is the building and the studio, no air conditioning at all. Things have come a long way We've, since I then. mean, and in Houston? Are yeah. we Are we kidding? I yeah, know. finally. But this is, I mean, there are people here from all departments, from all years past, and I love the fact that we've been having anchors and on-air people right. come in on uh, every week at 5 o'clock. And it's just, you know, it's that connection to community. It's that connection to our history here that means so much to all of us. Absolutely. Yeah. Dominique, great to see you. Great to see you. We'll let you get okay, some lunch. Let's get some lunch. Okay, over here, Charles Scott. How far I got to Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Long-time photographer. Yes, we are. We're live right now. Come over here. We've covered so many stories together. I saw oh, your name God. on that list, and I was like, thank you, Charles. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm He's doing retired. Good. That's why. He's doing well, real good. No, I, still, I still take pictures, but I'm doing for myself now. That's right. You look fantastic. So oh, great to see I you. I miss you and uh, Rachel. I know. We're gonna, we'll come knock on your door one day. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> In the meantime, I keep watching Houston. That's right. That's what's right. what's incredible is so many folks behind the camera and in front of the camera over the years. If you take a look at this crowd, Mary you probably Bet. recognize Hi. some familiar faces. Ted Shaw, Ted Mary Shaw. Bet. We've got Craig Roberts over here. here. Linda Lorell, of course, a longtime anchor from 1989 to 2006. Together again, how does yes. it feel to have this little family reunion? Well, it's the first free meal I've had in this place in 30 years. <laughs> no, it's great. Linda, uh, as you know, she and I have been married for quite some time, <laughs> and uh, she's terrific. And uh, her husband, Lou, is probably thrilled to hear that. I'm taking sure taking a lot is. of pressure off him. She's very expensive. Well, and Linda, you never age. You Thank have an you. age today. Thank you. I really, really appreciate that. And this one hasn't lost a beat. He's as funny now as he was when we worked together all those years ago. Fantastic. Well, enjoy your lunch. It's great to see you all. You. Courtney, who else do we see here in the crowd? We because see, um, you guys don't know him because he was behind the camera. Joe Campos. Oh. Sorry. Hey, Joe. Yes, ma'am. This is my man right here. Hi, how are you? We're live on Houston Live. Joe, we covered so many stories together. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm glad to be back. You retired when? I retired in 2014. That's right. After how many years? 40. As a news photographer, starting his production. Well, no, 20 years in production, 20 years as a news photographer, yes. Yes. We did lots of, uh, lots we did of stories lots of stuff, together. But we had fun. We did have we fun. Had, we never missed a lot. Never. But we used to do extracurricular activities. That's what, for later. What does she like to do? <laughs> shopping. Oh, shopping. <laughs> we ran no errands. We no. ran errands. We ran errands. That's right. And, uh, Joe, great to see you. Also, Rick McFarland's over here. Rick is long time. Uh, was a... Gosh, what, I don't know how many titles Rick had. A I thousand know, and one incredible. titles. He was the, the, the dad to everybody here. It really is a family Hi, Rick. at KPRC Channel 2. And over the years and over the decades, as so many of these folks were working not just on camera but behind the scenes to cover the community, they're also part of the community because you were raising a family. A lot of these folks were. And uh, there's such a special feeling today. A giant family reunion here at Channel 2. I love it. You know what? It is just, it really encompasses encompasses community. It really encompasses what KPRC stood for when they first went on the air and where we are today. It's unbelievable. Absolutely. Well, I'm listen. glad we could bring this to you at home to see what we're doing here. Well, and thanks to all of you because you guys are the reason why KPRC has been the leader in this community for such a long time. Okay, so this party is going to continue all hour long. I'm sure even beyond that, but in the meantime, we've got a show to do.